Hi, in this video I'm gonna show you how we can set up the ink escape uh, in order uh, to work with the ink stitch. So, uh, as you know, the ink escape is the free drawing software, so you can come here, download uh, that, and install it. And after you install it, you can go to the ink stitch and click on the installation, and then select the platform have, I have a Windows. Uh, just download this file and install it. After you install both of them, if you go to the uh, Ink Escape, go to the uh, extension, you will see the Ink Stitch is going to be already there. But before we can start to work with, there are a couple of things we need to set up so it can make it easier to work with the uh, uh, Ink Stitch. So a uh, couple of things that we are going to uh, do is that first we are going to edit go to preferences and click on the interface and here you will see that it will tell you to adjust the zoom correction so basically uh, it, it helps you what you see to be in actual size so in you have to move this uh, in order to get let me grab this so get for example here to the size that it should be so here for example it's 100 millimeter or you can change it into the inches so you grab put the ruler on that and then change this until uh, this 100 millimeter or i think it's going to be four inches in inches so the, the inches or the millimeter is going to be correct on your ruler um, i think you know, on my laptop it is 165 i believe it is so uh, I already uh, did that, so you can also do that to set it up. So that's the very first thing that you will do, so you can see everything in the correct uh, lengths. Um, after that, it, um, it's up to you. So here, look at it by default. Uh, the scroll is just, um, if you uh, use the scroll in the mouse, it's just scrolling. Uh, I myself prefer to have zoom, it's up to you. So again, you can go to preferences and uh, then click on the keyboard. Um, take a little bit while until it's bring it up. So when the keyboard go to the modifier on canvas and uh, by default, if you want to zoom in, um, uh, here is let me show you again. So it's a scroll. If you want to zoom in and zoom out, you hold on the control key and then scroll uh, with the mouse. So it's zoom in, zoom out. I want to uh, completely do the opposite. So I want to scroll down and up when I hold in the control key and zoom in and zoom out when I use those scroll key. So again, I go to preferences. Um, uh, so wait until it comes up. So in the modifier on canvas, so uh, here on canvas zoom, I click on the control key to remove it. And on the vertical pan, I click on the control. So now it's pan when I'm holding the control key and zoom when uh, I just scroll in and on. So look at that so it can scroll in and on. Uh, the next thing that we want to do that that is in the embroidery it's very important that we see which direction we are actually uh, uh, moving when we're drawing so uh, by default if I go here click on the pass and draw something um, and zoom in all the way in and remember so I want I don't want to have a color here so I click here on none and then I hold the shift key and click on the color so the border colors goes in. So if you want to set the fill color, just click on the any color here. If you want to uh, change the border color or stroke color, just hold on the shift and then click on it. So now if I go here and click on editing pass, it doesn't show me which direction it, uh, this pass is going to later on want to check it. So to do that, uh, what we will do again is go to preferences. Um, <clears throat> again, uh, wait until it comes up. And then 
we'll go to the I think it was in the tools in the nodes and click on this show past direction so click on that so it shows the direction now come here again um, select the object click on uh, edit the pass and then click on this uh, show pass outline and then if you zoom in you will see it's a little bit hard to see it but you can see you now there is a arrow there that shows the pass of the uh, object so you know we know that it's going from, from the left to right for example in this case um, this is uh, another thing that we want to do uh, and uh, finally uh, these are these preferences is gonna be there um, any any times that you tear uh, you start the insuscape these are gonna be there until you change it but this one is uh, it's not so it's when you want to set up your uh, hoop size so you go in file document properties and then here under display what your hoop size you have you just set the distance so for example if you have a four inch by four inch so click on inch and then set it four and also here four and then uh, then you have your display so it's exactly at the size of your hoop size so you have it here uh, so if I come here and make it 100 so this is 4 by 4 uh, exactly the size of your hoop so you know whatever you draw here is going to be there uh, anytime you start and skip uh, it goes back to original size so you have to go back here and document properties and set it the other way that you can do it is just you can save it as a blank uh, document and every time just start from there or you can just new from template i usually just it's easier go in the document properties and set it there every time i start also there are a couple of um, uh, things we use a lot so i want to go to the object and this is the layer and object we use it a lot fill and stroke we use it a lot and this alignment we use them so click on that on layer and object so it's going to be open here then go on object click on fill and stroke so it's going to also open there and again on the object click on the align and distribute so it's going to open there so these three tabs we usually use them particularly these two a lot when we are using the ink stitch uh, so by now so it's, it's uh, ready to start using the ink stitch uh, 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 for uh, creating the embroidery.